They're making a documentary exploring how the changes in technologies are impacting on the creative industries. To support the content of the documentary, we started researching the creative industries as they are now, alongside evolving technologies as well, and how the two are coming together and how things are starting to be changed. Um, we're working with a variety of professionals in the industry. So we spent a fair bit of time researching them, thinking about questions that would be appropriate to ask them, uh, which would answer the question about how technology is having a big impact on creative industries. Amanda Hancock, who's the producer at BBC, came in and she ran a session with the students about interviewing techniques, um, skills to get the most amount of information out of somebody that you're interviewing. Um, so today I've come here to teach people interviewing skills, which is a really important part of documentary making. And so what we're doing is we're having a look at a few examples of um, documentaries um, different types of interviews, different types of locations to give them some ideas about how to go about filming the people that they've got to interview and then I'll be giving them some tips on interviewing skills so that they can do the best interview they can. She's told us a lot about um, other jobs and how, how her job is in the uh, BBC. So this is quite a useful way of being able to show people what goes on, how we go about things so that they can learn skills which they might use in, in the future. I'm working with Abraham Moss, a year nine taster lesson, and we're doing documentary making workshops. So up to now we've been learning the techniques and documentary conventions. Rowan Kirby has helped us produce like multiple tests, for example. She has helped us like talk, uh, talk us through documentaries. Before our interviews, we did research on Sarah Elderkin, who works with culture and museums and we found out what technology is in her job and how it's been affecting her job. It really encourages people in Manchester to think um, about the possibilities of digital technology. Uh, the students have interviewed Paul Basin who's responsible for starting the shed which is a space where lots of people working in different areas of the creative technologies can come together. Um, Math Whitaker, of course, who did the coding workshop with the students. So we've been talking to him about um, uh, 3D printing, coding, technology in general, and how that's moving forward. So we've been working with the students to uh, develop a, a 3D model in the computer of a lampshade or a vase or something, um, teaching them different skills in order to develop it, um, with the, the end result hoping to make miniature 3D printed versions. We've learned how to use the camera and we've researched about things that are important with technology and careers. And they've just been interviewing different people and we've got loads of people coming in and the documentary is trying to the aim is to try and answer what impact is technology having on the creative industry.